Welcome to the 52 JavaScript projects and 52 weeks challenge. The project of the third week will be a word length calculator. So the first thing we need to do is create the HTML structure, which looks like this. If you have Visual Studio Code, you can just type a exclamation mark and press tab. So it will create this whole thing by itself. Then we don't need one, but I will add an h1 tag and type in word length calculator just so we know what this project is about. Then we will create a diff and I will give my diff an ID with the name container. And inside this diff, we will create an input field. The type will be a text field. We give this input text field an ID of word and it's optional, but you can set a placeholder, for example, type in your word here. Close the input. Next, we will need a button. Type button, ID, button. You can name these IDs however you want, but um, these work fine. So then you will give the button an, a name. For example, calculate word length. So everyone knows what this button does. Next, we will create the div where the text will be outputted. So just give it the ID output. And we're now finished with the HTML text. If you open it up, you can see it looks already kind of finished, but nothing works, you know, nothing will show up. So next we can um, add the style sheet. We do this by typing link rel style sheet and the href is the source of the style sheet. Just type in the name which you gave your style, style sheet. And also at the bottom of your um, body, add the script. You do this by typing script src for the source and typing in the name of your JS file. And that's it. We are now finished with the HTML file. Now we will go over to the CSS file and style our, our HTML, fi HTML file a bit. So for this, we will just add a background color. You don't actually need this but I just do it because it looks a bit better um, and we need the color three, three, two, three, three, two. now and if we upgrade it you can see all oh, the the background color is a nice gray color then we can style the h1 tag color white so we can actually see it Font family, for example, Arial, which looks kind of nice. Text align center, so the text will be centered as you can see now. Now we need to center the diff, as you can see. Um, our input is in a diff. This was the diff. As you can see, it's um, just one thin line across the whole screen, and we want it to be centered. So we do this by accessing our container ID, giving it a height of 125 pixel, a width of 350 pixel. Also, we add a border. Um, the background color. margin auto and now we have a center diff as you can see here the reason why we added a border is because of margin collapse okay next we will create uh, next we will style the word which is just the um, 
um, input field and I will just give it a margin of left 10 pixels so it's a bit more centered as you can see here um, and now we style the output field we will add a height of 25 pixel a width of 350 pixel a background color of white also give it a margin of 25 pixel and auto a padding left of 5 pixel and a font size of 24 pixels so we can actually see the output now our HTML file looks like this which is I don't know if it's better than the one before but I mean we style it a bit so next we will create the function and for this we need to create a button variable which will access our button so we will just get it by the element ID which is um, this ID that you gave your button and also we need to create a variable for the output so we can um, output the length of the word we do this also by document get element by id and getting the id of your output which is output all right and now we will create the function so just type in button at event listener click function and now we will create a variable which is called str for, st for string and this will um, this will be our variable which stores the word which the user inputs into the input field so if someone type something into the input field and press on the button it will be saved to this to this variable so just do it like on the um, just do it like on the variables above get element by ID which is word yes it's word and now we need to output this um, now we need to output the length of this word inside the output field. We do this by accessing our output variable and typing inner HTML equals str dot length. Dot length is a oh length, which is a built-in fun uh, method from JavaScript, which just displays the length. So now we're finished. If we reload our page and type in JavaScript it doesn't work um, what did I do wrong um, oh yes we need to get the value of course we need to get the element by ID word and also get the value of the input field so JavaScript actually knows what the um, what the content is of the word. So now it should work. JavaScript and it's ten characters long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, it's right. You can test this with hello. It works. Hello world. It's the same amount of characters. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe or comment down below. And if you want to get the source code and build this project yourself or read this tutorial as a blog article, visit my website learn-webdev.com. Link is in the description.